Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How To Do, and in this video we will learn how to do photo manipulation just like this one. So let's let's get started. First things first, what you of course need to do is import images. I already have done that. This will be the background and this will be the foreground. Now we will have to cut down this subject and we want to add this subject somewhere over here so that she's walking down the path. So how we do that is pretty simple. You have to just go ahead and go to quick selection tool increase the brush size by holding alt and right click and then simply uh, simply select her just like that bam it's really easy yeah you can see how quickly we just selected the whole thing we can zoom in and do the details if you have uh, like if you have the selection out of the subject you can of course delete that by holding alt and then yeah doing that uh, otherwise you can just simply go ahead and real quick select the whole image once you're happy with the selection you can just go ahead and click the mask button and there we go now you can reposition the subject you can also uh, resize it by ctrl T and hold alt and there we go I want to place her somewhere over here so hit enter and there we go now why doesn't it looks real basically there are three reasons why this image is not looking real first one is the lighting is not matching second one is the shadows there are no shadows and the third one is the colors are not matching right so let's just real quick fix them the fix is really simple and easy what you have to do is you have to just go ahead and duplicate the uh, uh, the, the the background by just holding alt and then dragging it and I'm gonna go ahead and bring it all, all the way on the top all right so we have a duplicate of the background on the on the top once you have to do that uh, what you have to do is you have to just click that go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and increase it to such a point in which the image looks something like this all right go ahead and hit ok and basically what you want is to have average color of the background all right uh, I can go ahead and increase the Gaussian blur a little bit more so that we can get a average color of the of the uh, background once you're happy with the Gaussian blur you have to select that and go in here in this tab and go to color all right but as you can see this this thing is affecting the whole image and that is not what we want we only want the subject to get affected right so how we do that is by selecting this top there and then holding alt and then going between the two layers and bam now it's only affecting the subject now basically what it is doing is adding the average color of the whole background to this subject so of course it does not looks good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna decrease the opacity a little bit bam so if we disable that and enable that you can see there's a subtle difference between them and that subtle difference basically matches the colors a little bit but yeah the next thing that we want to do is we want to add the shadow over here so how we do that is by going in here go to exposure there we go and then and decreasing the exposure to all the way down okay and then select the mask over here and say Control i to convert the mask select the mask and then we want to paint in the shadow so how we do that is by selecting the paint brush tool and make sure these swatches are black and white so you can just simply press d and reset these patches and now we want to paint in white so yeah it looks really bad but of course we can decrease the uh, brush size increase the feather I'm doing it by holding alt and right click so increase the feather all the way up and also decrease the flow to 3 or 2 so now when we paint in you can see it is painting in really really subtle and we can just overdo override 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 and it will make it uh, darker so this is how we paint in the shadows so I'm gonna go ahead and simply add in the shadows just like this and no worries you can also uh, press X to toggle between the black and white and if you paint in black you will see it will remove the shadow so basically this is how you're gonna uh, do the shadows all right so uh, select the white and simply go ahead and paint in the shadows just like that all right and of course the shadows will be darker where there are feet because this is the ground contact we can increase the flow a little bit for the for the foot and then we can decrease the flow 
I know it looks really bad, but we will gonna fix it. And just basically paint in the shadow. There we go. Now it looks really really bad. However, we can increase the brush size and then uh, press X to toggle between the black and white. Now we're gonna paint in black. All right, just tap 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 until you are happy with the result. And I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna in go in here. I'm gonna do that. Make it a little darker. Darker over here, darker over there. Lighter over here. And bam. Okay, looks pretty good to me, right? Now this is how you make these shadows. And this is with the shadow, this is without the shadow. So how better it looks, right? Once you're happy with this, uh, the shadows, one thing that I do like to do is to duplicate the one that we just made, the, bl the blur image. Duplicate it and put it all the way on the top. And just change it from color to lighten. Now it looks really bad, but we can decrease the fill a little bit. And then we can also decrease the opacity a little bit. Until it looks little natural. All right, This will give a natural glow to your image. right? Uh, if you want to remove the glow from some areas, you can of course make some sh uh, the mask. Select the mask and do the same thing that we just did for the shadows. Press B and press D to reset the swatches. And oops. And then paint in with the uh, black to remove the to remove the glow and paint in with the white to add the glow. All right. So I'm gonna paint in with the black to remove the glow from the areas that I don't want to add the glow and decrease the flow a little bit and tap on the subject a few times. So so this is with lighten and this is without light. So subtle effect but it will really sell the effect of the shadows. You can see? Yeah? Okay, pretty cool, right? Now what we need to do is, in my opinion it looks pretty good. Uh, one thing we can do is we can select the subject and then we can go ahead and add a, oops, we can add a curves adjustment layer. So where it is, there we go. And it's automatically come in here in the, between these two and it's only gonna affect the, uh, the the subject only all right automatically if it's not happening then you have to hold alt and do that okay now what we can do is we can go ahead and select this guy over here and select the darkest areas of the image of the background all right in my case they are somewhere over here so i'm gonna select that select the lightest areas and in my case it's somewhere over here yeah this one maybe yeah this one maybe and then we are gonna go ahead and of course it's really intense so we're gonna go ahead and decrease the opacity of the curves a little bit so yeah this really sells the effect so this is with without one thing we can do is we can simply go ahead and add a hue saturation adjustment layer on top of everything and increase the saturation a little bit maybe probably in my case because everything was looking really dry so i just increased the saturation a little bit you can also add a contrast and brightness adjustment layer you can increase the contrast a little bit you can increase or decrease the brightness you can play with these uh, and make your image look better and lastly the one that i really do like is to add a color lookup table so that is over here uh, and you can go ahead and select any one of them and then you can use what the heck you can use arrow keys to navigate between them so this one looks good you can of course decrease the opacity to sell the effect and just navigate between yeah this one really looks good in this one you can go ahead and uh, find any one that you like this one also looks good in my case I will go with 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 this one yeah so you can increase and decrease the opacity yeah, in my case it this looks pretty good so this will be the photo manipulation technique so this is what we had before then we added a shadow 
then we added the color adjustment layer which has a subtle effect on it uh, on the subject then we added the lighten effect to sell the effect we added the curves adjustment layer we added the hue saturation we added the contrast and then we added the lookup table and this is the final result pretty cool right once you're happy with the final result you can go to file export and save for web and you can go ahead and basically save it bam and I'm gonna go ahead and save it on desktop and just save it just like that and this is the final result pretty pretty awesome hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in my next video